This is my reference Class A single-ended triode 300B tube amplifier that I use when I evaluate speakers and DACs. If you're curious why this is my reference 300B tube amp, then please join me for this review and I'll explain. Hi and welcome. I'm Hunter Gray and this is Hunter Gray Love Music. And I started this channel because I want to help you reach your hi-fi happy place. And I want to help you enjoy your hi-fi happy place when you reach it. Because to me, music is awesome. And listening to my favorite music is super important to me. Listening to music grounds me throughout my day. And that means I want my music to sound beautiful when I play it. So that's why we're here. We're talking about hi-fi gear because your hi-fi gear and my hi-fi gear helps or hurts how the music that we love sounds when we play it. If it's helpful, you may want to take a quick look down below to the description where I explain the details of the size and dimensions of my listening rooms and my typical listening volumes in, in decibel levels so that I'm not a fan of, oh, it's concert level. Oh, this is my nighttime listening. Oh, I play it loud. Let's be specific and objective. And that's what I list, what the actual decibel levels are that I listen to when I'm evaluating. So, you know, and you can compare to what your listening habits are. There are also down below are two um, footnotes for you to take a look at that may help you in your journey to your hi-fi happy place. They, it's helped me. So I hope you'll take a few minutes and slow down and just enjoy. And while we have a chat about this monster, my reference class A 300B single-ended triode tube amp. It's just 7.6 watts per channel. And it's what I use to evaluate speakers and DACs. It is from Boy Yurang, but I refer to it as the Rysong because that's easier for me. It's the Rysong A50 Mark III. So let me review briefly um, some of the, the specs on this, okay? <clears throat> so first of all, it lists on Amazon for 850 bucks, but I paid 800 bucks on Amazon for mine. With Amazon, you get free 30 day returns and shipping and Amazon returns are easy and, and I trust it. You can also buy this on, on China Hi-Fi from their actual website, because that's who you're buying it from on Amazon is from China Hi-Fi, but then it's shipping from China. And it looks like it's less expensive, but it's not because the shipping is is a whole bunch because this monster weighs 40 pounds. And when you get it from Amazon, it's already in the Amazon warehouse and it's shipping from Amazon. And if you're disappointed or you have any problems, you can just return it to Amazon. And that's the route I took. So it was 800 bucks when I bought it. Uh, list for 850 bucks, which for a single-ended triode, 300B tube amp, the world that we're living in now, that is amazing. So it's 7.6 watts into either 8 ohms or 4 ohms. As I said, it weighs in at 40 pounds, and it's not evenly distributed. The weight is all in that. Every time I pick it up, it's a little bit unwieldy, but it's, it's a monster. It's... 15 inches wide, so a little bit under, but it's it's big. 11.4 inches back. It listed at seven inches high, but with the cage on here, it's actually eight inches tall. So it has to sit on the top of my rack. And this is an integrated amplifier. Okay, you've got three input selections on the back. On the front, there's they're listed as auxiliary, CD, and tape. I just have um, one input, my win, uh, I stream title to my win um, amp. Well, it's not the Wim amp, it's the Wim Pro. And then into my 
VMV, uh, well, the SMSL VMV D1 SE DAC. And then from the DAC, I put it into the AUX input. You have volume control. I don't know if you can see right here, this is the indicator. I 7.6 watts per channel. I never put it above this 50% um, at, at 12 o'clock. I get all the power for every speaker that I've used so far, but I have more headroom. Um, and I use, I set that, and then I'm using the app for the uh, WIM Pro as the, uh, the volume control. And I'm really using that in a lot of ways as um, a, a preamp. So I want to talk about zero negative feedback for a second. And the fact that um, the single-ended triode amps do not have any um, negative feedback. And this produces an improved transient response and it allows for a faster, more accurate transient response. And this contributes to a more immersive holographic sound stage that you are getting from um, a, uh, a single-ended triode 300B uh, tube amp. So you'll notice here, let me take this off actually. So this very easily lifts off. I'm leaving it on to protect Put that there. But um, these are the 300B tube amps, one for each left and right. These are the power amps that actually generate the 7.6 watts per channel. The brand is PS Vane um, uh, for the 300Bs. Now, tube amps, you can do tube rolling and you can buy new old stock, Western digital, you know, I think they're like a thousand bucks a pair. Um, I, this is the tubes that this delivered from Amazon with. I haven't done any tube rolling. Um, this is the rectifier tube, and these are the left and right uh, input tubes. So the signal, the analog signal source that comes from my DAC into the, the tube amp first goes left and right into the, the, the input uh, tubes, then I don't know when it goes into the rectifier tube, but um, then the 300B tubes, which 300B, if you haven't heard of, are just iconic to some people. The 300B is the holy grail of, of tube amps. Um, I wanted to find out about the 300B. I love the EL84 power tubes on my Black Ice Audio FX10H. So, um, I haven't settled on a favorite or what is better, but I don't know. I don't need to settle on one favorite flavor of ice cream. I like variety. So this is the 300B, but with the single-ended triode, uh, it's important to know that there is zero negative feedback and that has an impact on what we're hearing through our speakers when we're powering them with a 300B uh, power tube zero uh, uh, single-ended triode amp. As I said, this allows for faster and more accurate transient response, and it contributes to what the 300B single-ended triode tube amps are known for, that immersive holographic soundstage presentation. And I'll tell you, every pair of speakers I hook this up to, it opens up and widens and makes a little bit deeper or a lot deeper, depending on the speaker, uh, the sound stage. So uh, I don't understand the technical details of the transient response and the time smearing and the zero negative feedback, um, but I can tell you I hear the impact in the uh, in the sound stage. So as I just mentioned, the time smearing is also reduced, if not eliminated by the zero negative feedback, which improves the coherence and it makes a better defined sound stage, meaning better uh, uh, imaging and better instrument separation. And it improves the, the sense of the rhythmic accuracy from what you're hearing. So, uh, that 
zero negative feedback feature of a single ended triode tube amplifier is significant in what you actually hear. So I'm also going to um, read to you something uh, from when I, I did a search on or I queried, not a search on ChatGPT and ChatGPT responded to me. Yes, it is often reported that a single ended triode tube amplifier and zero negative feedback can improve the sound stage produced by the speakers. And here's why. One, the preservation of harmonic texture. Zero negative feedback allows the amplifier to preserve the natural harmonic distortion and texture of the music, which can contribute to a more immersive and three dimensional sound stage. Two, increased dynamics. Without negative feedback, the amplifier can maintain a more dynamic sound with greater contrast between quiet and loud passages, leading to a more engaging soundstage. Three, improved spatiality. Single-ended triode amplifiers are known for their ability to recreate the spatial relationships between instruments and voices and the zero negative feedback can enhance this aspect, creating a more expansive and nuanced soundstage. Four, reduced compression. Zero negative feedback can reduce the compression of dynamic range, allowing for a more natural and unforced soundstage. Five, the tube characteristics. Triode tubes such as the 300B tubes can in particular be known for their warmth, their richness, and their detailed sound, which can contribute to a more realistic and engaging soundstage. However, it's essential to note that system synergy, the impact of zero negative feedback on the soundstage depends on the entire system, including the speakers, the source material, and the listening room. In summary, a well-designed single-ended triode tube amplifier with zero negative feedback can potentially improve the soundstage by preserving harmonic texture, increasing dynamics, and enhancing spatiality, but system synergy amplifier design and personal preference also play an important role. End quote. That was the answer from chat GPT. So I think that, uh, <laughs> that, explains in a more technical way than I could what I hear when I listen to speakers on this 7.6 watt per channel single ended triode 300B tube amp. So if you'll bear with me just one more second, I'm going to walk you down the path technically of why and how class A and class A tube amps sound the way that they do, which is often described as magical or tubiness and i describe it as beautiful tubes just add a a beauty to the sound of the music that you love and if you haven't experienced it i highly recommend you you at least try it and experience it like i said amazon you can return easily it's only 850 bucks okay the fundamental frequency is the basic pitch of sound, okay? The harmonics are the integer multiples of the fundamental frequency. So this is what's important when it comes to tube amps. Even harmonics are harmonics that occur in the even integers, two, four, six, eight. Odd harmonics occur at the odd integers, three, five, seven, et cetera. Now, even harmonics tend to add warmth, richness and a sense of fullness to the sound. Some describe it with adjectives like vintage or an analog sound. Odd harmonics tend to add brightness, clarity, and a sense of aggression to the sound. Some describe that as a more modern sound. Class A amplifiers, whether solid state with transistors or tube amps operate in a linear mode that the output transistors are always conducting, resulting in a more consistent 
and predictable harmonic distortion pattern. Solid state <clears throat> class A amps, these are uh, even order dominant and tend to produce more even order harmonics, second, fourth, sixth, and they are low order dominant. So in adding to the even order harmonics, they're adding into the second and fourth harmonics most uh, typically are the most prominent. It is widely accepted that the harmonic distortion in the second and fourth harmonics can contribute significantly to the listener's sense of richness, fullness, sweetness, beauty, and that vintage sound. The second harmonics add a sense of warmth and fullness, robustness, and a perception of smooth, velvety texture to the music. The fourth harmonic adds a sense of richness and complexity to the sound and enhances the overall harmonic structure, making the sound more engaging. Which, And again, this is coming from uh, uh, ChatGPT. And you will hear often listeners describing the music from a tube amp or class A is just being more engaging and they don't want to stop listening and they're just emotionally involved in the music. And, and um, ChatGPT is describing the technical reasons, the technical foundation of why we experience what we experience with class A amplification. Okay. Um, so I appreciate your patience while I kind of walk you down that uh, technical foundation of why class A amps and tube amps, what we listen, what we hear, what we experience. And you get that in spades from this 300 BSET uh, tube amp. So, <clears throat> um, Quick note about the setup that um, I use. I mentioned I just have the volume set at 50%, and I, I have not, you know, turned it past that uh, that 12 noon position. I uh, mentioned also that I feed this with my SMSL VMV D1SE DAC, uh, which provides. It doesn't provide any. Uh, color to the music. It's a very good, very um, neutral, but does an excellent job of detail retrieval and accuracy. And uh, it, it, it's, I've mentioned this before, but it's my, uh, to me, that DAC is the equivalent of a good class D amplifier where it does its job and nothing more. It doesn't add any sound or color into the signal chain. And that's what the SMSL VMV D1SE DAC does. It does an excellent high level job of digital analog conversion. It's all of the detail retrieval for you and accuracy, but it's not adding anything to the sound in the signal chain. Um, So that's, um, so you're clear about my, my setup. <clears throat> I think this is a good time for me to ask for your support for this channel. If you enjoy my take on speakers, amps, DACs, streamers, headphones, and IEMs, then I'd like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you're enjoying this video, it helps the algorithm a ton. If you click the, the like button, the thumbs up, and uh, it would really mean a lot to me if you would uh, consider subscribing to the Patreon. And I would love to um, have you click on the link below for the Patreon and uh, just take a look at the options. There's a Telegram chat option. There's a Zoom meeting get together, Patreons. And so 
um, please click the link in the description. And if you can support the channel by joining Patreon, I would really appreciate that. I also want to make you aware that most, but not all of the descriptions down below are affiliate links. This does not cost you anything when you buy something, but this channel does make a small commission, which makes a big difference to supporting the channel. And the affiliate links really are your no cost way to show your support for the channel. Also, I'd really love to get to know you personally by your joining the Patreon. That would be great just to get to know you and what your system is at home. Um, maybe what your in-game system looks like or what part of your system you're thinking about uh, upgrading and you're doing research on. Also, I'd love to hear what types of videos you'd like to see more of. So again, thank you for your support of this channel. So what does this 300B tube amp sound like, the Rysong A50 Mark III? <clears throat> well, <laughs> this is going to perhaps sound uh, a little bit redundant after I walk through the, the technical foundation of why tube amps sound like they do, but this opens up and improves the sound stage on every speaker that I have played this on. It helps the speaker in their presentation of the instrument layering and separation. For example, when I played the Klipsch RPM 600 Mark II on this amp, it made a huge improvement in their ability to separate and layer the rest of the instruments in the background that we're playing. The RP 600Ms, when played on my reference Class D amp, sounded mushed together like a musical smoothie rather than being able to hear the separate, uh, be able to hear and separate out the individual fruits that we're playing in the song. But through this 300D amp, I could much better identify and hear the individual instruments or the fruits in this metaphor playing on the song behind the solo um, vocals or the instrument that was soloing. Now, on really good speakers like my Sonus Faber Lumina, uh, Lumina 5, the floor standards that already have excellent imaging and layering and separation, they are already presenting the details to me in the music really well. So there really isn't any need for improvement on those. But by contrast, in my opinion, the soundstage can always get better and more holographic and more in depth. And this amp does add fullness and it adds not slap, but more punch. Maybe it could be called, it adds more weight to the bass. And even uh, on my um, excellent Sonus Faber Lumina 5, I experienced that and I hear that when uh, the luminas are played on uh, this 300B tube amp. But I want to point out when I mentioned this in the bass, this is not adding more quantity of bass. It's changing and I think improving the presentation of the bass. So when, you know, when you hear songs that you know played really well, when you hear them on this single-ended trio 300B tube amp, I think it improves what you hear in the bass, but it's not giving you more like <clears throat> dance club um, quantities of bass. Now, how about the treble? The treble changes are like the instrument separation and layering improvements uh, that I just commented on. If your speakers that you're playing on this amp, the 300B, already have excellent smooth treble when they're played on, you know, good class D amplification. Then the 300B tubes will add some sweetness and they add that tubey beauty to the treble and to the mid. So for example, on acoustic guitar strings, they will emanate a resonance, a resonance and 
a beauty that to my ears is missing, usually when not played on a good class A amp. If the speaker's being played on, this amp can have treble glare or harshness or excessive brightness, then this tube amp will help smooth out much of that and often make for a much smoother and more pleasant presentation of that treble without that brittle or treble glare. So it, it, it does smooth out when I find the, the treble too bright and too harsh and too much. So again, it depends to a degree where the speakers being played on this tube amp have as a starting point. Is their treble smooth and pleasant to begin with? Is the treble bright and harsh? It's gonna have a different impact. But for me, I even with good speakers that have really good bass and treble and mid-range presentation, this tube amp makes it better. It adds beauty and velvety sweetness to the treble into the mid-range, and it adds a fullness and a richness to the, to the bass. And punch, I guess, is the, the best way I would describe it. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it, it, it does something that I am looking for in the sound. Um, comparisons, comparing to a class AB or to a transistor, solid state class A, these are different species and I'm not really going to spend time comparing uh, a 300B single-ended triode tube amp to those. So this is my review of the Boyerang Rysong A50 MK3 single-ended triode 300B tube amplifier. And I want to say thank you for watching. My goal is to help you reach your hi-fi happy place and enjoy it. Stop. You know, a lot of us audiophiles have anxiety about our room acoustics or our how good our system is. I want to help you enjoy your hi-fi happy place once you get there. But what do you think about this amp? What do you think about tube amps? Do you have a preference for class D amplification or class AB or for class A solid state or for tubes? Do you have tube preferences? 300B, EL84, EL34, KT66. Um, I've listened to some of those, not all of those. If so, let me know what your favorites are down below in the comments, what type of amplification and maybe what type of, of tubes. Please share your thoughts with me in the comments below. And most definitely, please, Come back to this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you again on the next video. Cheers for now. Thank you for watching.